let's turn our focus back to Leash. This has been a great championship for Leash, despite that mm. defeat. Yeah, uh, you know, if you look at where they were in the last couple of years, like you know, the day Cork scored ten twenty against them a couple of years ago, and really going nowhere. But there is a lot of work going on in the background in Leash. Uh, Pat Crisley, who's one of the top hurling coaches in the country, trend their minors this year. Their manager there, Seamus Plunkett, Cheddar Plunkett, he. He was on himself and Paul Cuddy were looking for a new manager. They couldn't get anybody, and he was asked by the chairman to take the job. And he was training the minors, so he asked Pat Critchley, their two club mates. He stepped up. It was that bad that like, they couldn't get anybody to take them on. And in, in twelve months, well, in, 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 since January they only started back training. It's, it's actually massive progress. And they beat Offaly by fifteen points in the minor championship this year. There was only a point in the under twenty one. There was a lot of work going on in Leash hurling. And one of the things I love to see, he's a passionate Leash man, and he's training his own county. I think there's a lot to be said for that. Okay. Well, interestingly, after the game. Seamus Plunkett had some very interesting things to say about their status when he spoke with Adrian. Last year there was a suggestion that uh, Leash should compete in the Christie Ring Trophy. I guess from what you're saying, that's a non-runner for you. Um, yeah, you could say that, Adrian. I think if somebody was to mention that to me, actually a few people did mention that to me last year, and uh, I wouldn't like to tell you the answer that I gave them. Um, and I think that's indicative of some thinking, to be honest with you, and it's a lack of ambition among, among a lot of people. Um, I think if you mentioned that in our dressing room here now, you know, you'd get an answer pretty, pretty quickly. But we want to close this gap. We're very, very interested in closing the gap. We need some assistance to do that. And, and development, by their nature, need investments. Um, you know, we just need to look at the Dublin model. Um, if we look at, I don't know, six, seven years ago, the millions that were actually pumped into Dublin. Well, that has proven the point. Uh, you know, they have been successful. Uh, they've had an awful lot of underage success. Certainly, if we had that type of development within our county, I certainly think we would, we would uh, speed up to a Tier 1 county very, very quickly. Well, Donald, that's like an extension of what, the point you made about Ulster last week, and it's a point well made. Yeah, I think it's a, a point very well made, Des. I think, you know, the Dublin model has been successful over the last number of years. The one thing I would say is that there should be more investment in the game of hurling. There should be more investment in, you know, what you could say is a hurling, country, a hurling county. I know they play football seriously as well, but Leash have always been a, a hurling county. And, you know, the more investments that's there, the more coaches that, that, that are put into the game, the better it can be. The one point I would say is that it shouldn't be at the expense of Dublin, for example. Sure. Mind you, when you talk about this and the Dublin development, look at Carlo and that fantastic achievement of their under-21s. They blew that Dublin bubble apart, really. Last this yeah, week. Jed, that was a huge result for Carlo. Yeah. But like, it's, it, money is hugely important and resources. Uh, but what, Explain why. That's just to put coaches in each county. It's coaches and I think yeah. it's equipment and it's, it's backroom teams. You know, like If you were competing, I've often, I'm making this point a lot over the last couple of years, but you know, Donegal spent nearly a million euros last year winning in All-Ireland. Counties like Offaly and Leash that are dual counties maybe having a budget of about 300,000 for both senior teams. So you can't have the same, obviously, facilities and the same expertise in the backroom team. So that, there's an unfair playing field. And then you obviously have resources. Dublin have a million, a million plus people, small counties, yeah. maybe 60,000, 70,000. So that, but that's always been there. So yeah. really, you know, it, look, what's more important for Leash is there's pride back in the jersey. And at the end of the day, you can put all the money you want. But if the players don't have the right attitude, right. they don't go out to win, yeah. they, don't, they don't train properly, prepare properly, mentally and physically then they're at nothing. But it was, it's, it was great, great start for Leishorn. They have to now build on that momentum. Okay.